Well, it's funny, after I said that I wasn't going to put clear coat on it, the first can I opened was varnish. So, I got another can here. It might be varnish, too. I'll open it and see what it is. <laughs> okay, I got that can open. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> it's funny, while I was doing this, I noticed the can the, the can was coming apart. I could feel the sides of it starting to crumble. I was thinking, uh-oh, if there's anything in there, I'm going to lose it. Well, it's already gone. This looks promising. This is a brand new can. Looks like either never been opened or uh, never been used. Got some green tint to it. Let's see what it looks like, actually. This looks like it'd make good rat rod paint because it's all lumpy. Looks like Kermit the Frog is uh, simple. Maybe I'll give this to Mike and let him paint it on the rat rod. Looks great, don't it? I better move my camera away. In fact, it's just about a little darker than the shade of my drill here. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I'll ever get the lumps out of that. Enough to, and it's some, there's a lot of it in the bottom that's all gone hard, so. <laughs> At least I get to find out what's in these cans, you know, even if I wind up throwing them away, that's not a bad thing. There's no point in having them taking up space in the garage here if they ain't no good. Isn't that pretty? Little lumps in it. We used to throw sand in paint and paint the top of tankers with so that it wouldn't be slippery. That might make a good paint to throw some sand in if I want to paint something with some texture. Nice, really nice. Even though that stuff was gnarly thick, it was actually kind of pretty good paint to smish all inside of there. You know, it's nice and thick. It goes up under the little cracks and crevices good. This is going to have a, uh, a coat of padding and a coat of cloth inside it, so the paint won't ever be seen anyway. Uh, and I like that. I mean, like, like I say, I think of paint as glue, so it's almost like smearing glue all over it. Certainly not losing anything by using up that paint because it's, it's junk not usable really for anything much. I can paint it all inside there and let it glue up and harden up and then uh, they give me something to attach my uh, padding and stuff to. And uh, I'll open a different can of paint. You notice I didn't put it in on the outside edge because I didn't think the green paint was all that attractive. So I'll find me some different color to do the outside edge. Not that I won't wind up with several coats on there, but I don't really want this gnarly looking stuff on the outside. So we'll open another can of paint and see what we got. Okay, I got this green paint all over this thing, and you know what, I think I'm just going to go right ahead and set it out in the sunlight and let what I've done so far dry. I was going to put a coat on the outside and the bottom, but you know, to be honest with you, if I go to messing around with it, I'm going to wind up with green, lumpy paint all over me. I've got an old thing over here that we used to set a bird bath on. I'm just going to set that right there in the sun and let it dry, and then... After it gets dry, I'll come back and we'll put a coat on the bottom. I can see a few places I missed in there. I got a brush still wet. I could, I could fix that. 